Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Udo multi window mobile application. Now, this particular application configures your Udo Marketplace with the Udo mobile app for the Android and the iOS platforms, thereby allowing your customers to access the Udo Marketplace through their mobile devices. The app is smartly designed to involve all the key features of your marketplace and the customers can now with the marketplace sellers and the individual products through the mobile app for the respective sellers as well. Apart from that, the, the customers would be able to add the products into the cart and can then proceed uh, to the checkout so as to place the orders. It also allows the customers to rate any seller and provide their feedback for the same and the sellers can with their marketplace dashboard in the app itself and can see the products and the orders in their account and can check their current status as well. So in today's video tutorial for the Udo Multimedia mobile app, I'll be taking you through the mobile app for the Android device. So you can already see that I have downloaded the Udo Marketplace from the Google Play Store and I have, I have the particular shortcut on my Android device there. So I'll be taking you through the workflow there, the different options uh, that uh, the sellers get after the uh, after this, uh, what we say as the after the usage of the Udo Multivender mobile app for the Android device there. But before we proceed further with this particular video tutorial, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So right now uh, to open the Udo Marketplace mobile application for the Android uh, platform based app, I'll be tapping on the Udo Marketplace and this would bring up this particular splash screen that you can see. And this loads up the mobile application as you can see right now on the screen itself. On the top left hand corner, we have this three horizontal lines. If I tap on that, that brings up the complete listing of the different categories within the Udo Marketplace there. So we can access any, for example, if I go to the furnitures here, I can go to any of the subcategories and the subcategories under that. And then we'll be able to see the complete listing of products under that. Here we can change uh, the particular view by tapping this particular uh, view icon at the bottom right hand corner. And that brings up uh, the different, uh, what we say as the waves. There are two waves for the, for the products there. Now let's stop here on the back button. So here on the left hand uh, side panel that we uh, get after tapping on these three horizontal lines. Here you can see that we have the marketplace uh, section as well. So if I tap on the marketplace section here, uh, the customers would be able to see uh, the top sellers of the marketplace as you can see. Uh, so here we have Blake Clancy, Brian June, George Horn, Maya Anand, Molly Ross, etc. Now from here, uh, what the customers can do is they can, uh, for each of the top sellers, they can with their particular products that they have added. And uh, to view the complete listing of the products for a particular seller, they will just have to tap here on the view all button. And that would basically list out all of the products of that particular seller there. To view a particular profile of a seller, you can tap here on the seller's profile name and that would uh, open up uh, the respective seller's uh, profile page as you can see. And here you can see that uh, here we have the recently added products by the seller. Then we have the store rating that uh, includes the average rating here uh, along with the uh, uh, comments that have been set up uh, for this particular seller there by the customers. If you've already logged into your uh, customer account, then you'll be able to uh, basically write a review from this particular section. And uh, here you can find the recent feedbacks as well. Apart from that, on the seller profile page, you'll be able to see the policies and the seller reviews. Basically, tapping on the seller reviews uh, brings up the complete list of seller reviews there. And tapping on the policies uh, brings up the written policy and the shipping policy. So here we have the written policy tab and the shipping policy tab. So the customers can go through these uh, from the seller profile page as well. Now let's go back. Let's go back. So from here you have the marketplace uh, page and uh, here you'll find the complete uh, listing of the top sellers of the marketplace. You can see their recently added products. Uh, you can also view the complete listing of the products there. Uh, you can check their uh, seller profile page as well and check the recently added products, these two ratings. If you want, you can also write a review as well. 
So uh, this was about the side panel marketplace. Then we have the language section wherein you'll be able to choose the language for your Udo multi-band mobile application. And from here you can choose the LTR or the RTL language as per your requirement there as required. Um, then we have the settings option and here you can choose to show the notification. Uh, notifications show recently with products. You can clear the recently with product as well or you can clear the search history as well. Here you also get the option to with the dark mode uh, for the app. If I check that up, you can see that the app is in dark mode right now. Initially it was in light mode. So if I bring this up again, I go to the settings, I can turn this dark mode off by tapping on the dark mode. So this was about the side panel that we have. You can also bring this side panel uh, uh, apart from tapping on these three horizontal lines, you can swipe from left to right to bring this up on your screen. Go to the marketplace to check the marketplace uh, uh, where you'll be able to see the uh, top sellers of the marketplace there. Now, this is the home screen as we have already seen, having at the top, having the different categories. Uh, then we are having these uh, banners there. If I tap on any of the categories there, we'll be able to see a complete listing of the products within that particular category. If I go to a particular product there, I'll be able to see the product details, uh, the sold by. So here you can see that this particular product is being sold by Ryan Solly. Uh, here we have the details of the product. From here, we'll be able to uh, write the reviews or add this particular product into the cart. So this is, uh, as you can see right now, this is uh, the product of a, uh, of a particular seller of the marketplace. If you want, you can also check the profile of this particular seller by tapping here on the name of the seller and the particular seller profile would be opened up. Here you can see the recently added products, the stores rating, and you can check the policies as well. If you want, you can also uh, write a review for this particular seller by first logging into your customer account there. So this was about the electronics category. Same goes for the banners here. You can assign a, a link to a product or a product listing there and accordingly after tapping on them, the customers uh, will be redirected to the respective link or the category there. Then we have the discounts for you a section. Then we have a new section for, you, uh, for the customers there. Then we have the deals of the day as you can see here. And then we have lastly the recently web product by the customer. On the bottom end, you can find here we have the home option, notification, and the notification shows all of the push notifications sent out to the customer. Then we have the search option. Here you'll be able to search the products using the product name, for example, acoustic. And the respective product would be searched, or you can search the products uh, using the what we say as the scanner's text. So, for example, if you're uh, using this feature, you can scan a text as well. Let me uh, give the permission here to the camera and you can see that uh, different texts have been read now you can uh, scan the text and if that uh, text is, or the product text uh, is there within the store then the respective product would be searched you just need to select the uh, particular uh, result there for the text that you have scanned let me go back let me go back to the search icon here and here you also have the scan as product so you can scan the image of the product as well and if that product is available within the show then the product would be searched for you so this was about the search feature there on the top as well we have the search feature uh, on the top right hand corner just to the left of the uh, shopping cart we have the search icon so from here as well you can search for the uh, products there then after the search we have the login option so here, this is the interface for the login there uh, for the marketplace and here you can log into your account, uh, both the customer and the sellers can log into the account by tapping here on the login option, entering their username password and tapping on the login button. You can also continue uh, with the login using your uh, social networks like your Facebook account or your Google account there. And from this page, you can uh, also, if you forget your password, you can choose the forget password option to uh, uh, reset your password there and you can also sign up from this section as well so going back here you also have the option to sign up and uh, to sign up just tap on the sign up button now if you are a customer or if you're a user and you want to register as a seller as well then what you need to do is after entering your email address your uh, name your password confirming your password you'll have to agree to the uh, to the terms and conditions of the marketplace there 
And if you just want to become a customer, just uh, uncheck the option that is, do you want to become a seller or a vendor and tap on the sign up button. But if you want to become a customer as well as seller there, what you need to do is you need to select this, do you want to become a seller or a vendor as well. Then what you need to do is you need to choose your country and you need to set up your profile URL here and then agree to the terms and conditions there and tap on the sign up button. Now I've already created a seller account there. So what I'll be doing is I'll be logging in by entering the username uh, or the email and the password and tapping on the login button. Here you also get the option for the fingerprint login. So you can opt for the fingerprint login as well. For now I'll be tapping it as uh, cancel there. So you can see now uh, on the bottom right hand corner of where we have the uh, login option. Now we have this account option. So if I go to the account option here, you can see that some of the options that we have here of, are of the customer's account and the uh, few ones are of the seller uh, account panel. So the dashboard, account info, address book, all orders, my wish list, these are of the customer account panel and then we have the seller dashboard. Now here uh, the sellers would be able to see the details for the products, orders and the payments and can see the uh, pending approved and rejected products. For the orders, they can see new orders, approved orders and the ship of orders. And for the payments, they can view the requested to be approved and approved. So for example, for the products, if I tap here in the uh, one pending, I'll be able to see the particular product that is still pending there uh, for the status, as you can see. The same goes for the approved one. So if I tap on five approved, I can see the five approved products that have been approved by the admin there. Similarly for the orders here, uh, you can see that I have two new orders. If I tap on that, I'll be able to see the two orders that have been placed for my products there. So this is the seller dashboard uh, that the sellers get within the Udo multi vendor mobile application. Uh, and the rest of the home page is just similar to the Odoo mobile app itself. But this one is having uh, what we say as the deals of the day and the rest of the features of the marketplace. So the marketplace products would be available within the different uh, categories there. Uh, on the left hand side, we have the marketplace option here that displays the uh, top uh, sellers of the marketplace. And from there, they, the customers can access the uh, particular products uh, or the recently ended products or can uh, check the seller's profile page as well as required. So uh, uh, for example, uh, let's go back to the account section here. Uh, so we were on the seller dashboard. Then we have the seller profile. So if I tap on the seller profile, we can see our profile uh, that would, uh, how it would be visible to the customers. Uh, so here we can find the recently added products by myself. Here I can see the store ratings that have been given. And uh, here we have the option to write a review as well. Then we have the policies and the seller reviews. So if I tap here in the seller reviews on the bottom right hand corner, I'll be able to see a complete listing of the uh, uh, reviews that have been uh, placed there. Now let me take you back. Now you might be thinking how we will be able to give the uh, give a particular seller with the ratings there. So if I go to the home page, for example, I go to electronics, I go to this particular product here. Uh, that's the uh, Audi's EL8 Titanium. I go to Ryan Soul's uh, profile page there. And uh, here you can see that here we have the option to write a review. So I can tap here on the write a review. I can give the rating here. I can write the review there or the review title first and my review and then I can tap here in the add review button. So that's how you get how a customer would be able to give a review for a particular seller there. Uh, let's go back uh, to the account panel here. Uh, so that was about the seller dashboard, uh, the seller profile page. Then now uh, if any of my orders have been placed within the uh, Udo uh, Malivana mobile app all of those orders would be visible here for my product. So if I go to seller orders, I'll be able to see the complete list of orders that have been placed for my uh, for my seller products. Then I have the option to ask uh, the question to the admin. So here we have the ask to admin option as well. So if I tap on that, I'll be able to set up a title and a description. I can send it to the admin to ask a question to the admin and the admin can respond back uh, to the same thereafter. And lastly, I have a sign out option there to sign out of my uh, seller account panel. So uh, 
I think uh, this uh, particular video helped you out in understanding uh, the different account panel options that are the seller dashboard, seller profile, seller orders, as to admin uh, that the uh, Udu multi vendor mobile app provides to the Udu marketplace sellers there. Then I showed you the uh, search option as well, uh, wherein we can search using the uh, uh, text. Uh, for example, I typed in Apple and the respective products would be displayed. And uh, here you can see that we have this icon to search the products using scanners text and scanners product as well. Uh, apart from that, you have the notification section that displays the complete list of notification or the push notifications there. So if you are placing an order, you will get a push notification or as well, you'll be able to with that push notification under this particular section here. And the home page of the marketplace, I've already shown you. And if I swipe from left to right, I can find the complete list of categories there. I can access, I can uh, navigate through each of the categories or the subcategories there. Then we have the marketplace page from where the customers can access uh, the top sellers of the marketplace with their recently added products. Uh, can access their uh, sellers as well or the sellers profile by tapping on the seller name there and this would bring up the recently added products by the seller, the store ratings, the recent uh, feedbacks and if the customer wants he can also give a uh, review by tapping here on the write a review button and can enter or select the rate uh, rating there for example good, okay, very good, excellent set up the title, write the review and tap on the add review button. So that was uh, much about the uh, Udu multi vendor mobile application and I hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow of the same. If you still have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements regarding the same then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvds.com as well. And lastly thanks for watching this particular video. And have a great day ahead.